Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Monique's Jewels. I have a beautiful vintage group of jewelry that is going to be considered a Goodwill jewelry haul since most of these pieces I did purchase from Goodwill. Um, some of these pieces I also probably have collected from antique malls, um, other places like that, or maybe even a reseller, reseller here or there. Um, it's um, a beautiful grouping, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you'd like to subscribe, we'd love to have you. Just click that subscribe button. You also can hit that bell icon right beside it to be um, notified next time that I do a video. We are a first come first serve type of seller. So if you email me at moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com, and um, let me know what you'd like to purchase. You would use a timestamp and maybe even a brief description. The first person that comments for that piece will, it will be set aside for you. Okay, so I've had a busy day, so I'm a little bit tired, but um, this is my relaxing time. So I hope everybody enjoys my jewelry. Okay, here we go. I have brooches on this side, on my left side, with some earrings. I have some, on this side, I have some more brooches, some earrings, and some necklaces. So I'll do these, and this is just the first half of um, the vintage, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna show you is some beautiful earrings. Uh, one of my favorite earring design designers is Edgar Baribi. Okay, and this is called the Colors in Art Collection. He makes gorgeous vintage jewelry. He made. This says, um, this is actually on the card. This is a copyrighted card. and <laughs> It's very cool. So, these I have looked up over and over again. I'm going to put these at $15 a piece. This one is the Cactus. Just gorgeous. Look at the colors. The original backs and everything are on there. I'll set those right there. And this has that gorgeous pink and blue, which kind of almost makes a purple. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so those are 15 each. Very, very nice. They are super well made. And like I said, he's about my favorite. And the back on this one also. These are approximately both the same, about two and a quarter to two and a half inches. Just beautiful. Show you the back. Just a nice silver tone finish on that one. And you're gonna hear a lot of little ding-dings. It's only because, and that's his name there. It's the weather, I don't know. If it's gonna rain a quarter of an inch, they come on and tell you like it's an emergency. Okay, next I have uh, some brooches. I'm gonna set about five of them out here. Brooches are the type of jewelry that are like a, um, what would you call it? An accessory that was used quite a bit in the, I wanna say, back in the day, all the, you know, 30s, 40s, all the way up to the 70s. Um, when I was a little girl, those are my favorite things in life. Um, I had a, a special um, pen. I had quite a few pens. I've still got the two little butterflies. And I had a donkey pen that was from Mexico that my grandmother had picked up. And I end up getting it. My mother gave it to me. And it disappeared. And I'll show it to you tomorrow or whenever I do the next video. And the funny thing about it is I was on eBay and saw it. I'm like, this can't be the same pen. But it's the only one I've ever seen offered. I've never seen one in a jewelry store. So I purchased that pen. It's sterling. It's a sterling donkey with this cute little face. Um, he's kind of turning and looking at you. And I think I paid close to $50 for it. But wouldn't that be interesting if that was actually the same brooch 
because it just disappeared. Um, I don't remember what happened to it. I don't remember if mom put it up. Some I lost it. Someone took it. I don't know. But the lady that sent it to me, I let her know, you know, I'd had one just like it when I was young. But um, she was all the way in Arizona or New Mexico or something. But anyway, that's the story for the day. And um, I have it now. And I will keep it and give it to my daughter. So I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. Okay, the first brooch I have is this gorgeous clown. Now, clowns were popular up until they started the movies like It and some of the other crazy, silly movies. Some children are very frightened of clowns. Others love them. Okay, this is not marked, but it's just beautiful. It's a frosted gold with the little red um, enamel there, the little red enamel teardrop and the um, very smooth gold tone at the top. And I'm gonna put $7 on him. Like I said, he's not marked, but he's gorgeous. He is in great shape. Could be a her. Look at the eyelashes. So I'll give you a close up of her, him, it. <laughs> it, don't say it. Oh goodness. And there's the back. So we'll put seven on that one. Now, this is um, rather um, not in, <laughs> this is an older brooch, you can tell. But this is actually a turkey, of course. It is not anywhere near Thanksgiving, but it is very nice. It's vintage. It's very pretty. It's in absolutely fabulous shape with all the stones. It's just, I don't know. I just thought it was cool. And it is also a brooch. I mean, it's also a pendant. Isn't that something? So, this is, like I said, more or less a holiday piece. But, Christmas and things like that sell all year round. So, I'm going to go ahead and offer this one. And I'm going to put, um, let's put $6 on this. Very, very cute. Okay. And... She is about uh, almost two inches, and the clown is a little over two inches, okay? So we're going to set those there. Now, this is beautiful. This is a turtle, like a sea turtle. Um, he's got that beautiful ribbed gold tone around the edging, um, faux turquoise, um, I found one very similar. Let me check and see if this has a mark. I think the one I found was gold tone. That is so strange because that is not a mark. But it sits up like it should be. Okay, I'll show you the one. It's on my phone. Let me check his feet. See if there's another mark. I don't see one. Okay. On my phone, I actually took a picture. Now, he's about, but he's beautiful. The what kind of, I think the white enamel with the gold is just so pretty. Let's see here. Let me get a picture here. Um, turtle, where are you? There you are. So, this is a JJ. I think I'm almost positive because what I see here is the same thing, except it's not white, it's gold tone. So I was like, hmm, or almost silver tone, really. Um, it's a JJ. Um, what's her name? Jonette. Yeah, Jonette's jewels or jewelry. So I think on this one. I'm going to put 12. Isn't that pretty? I don't think that it had a mark on it either. Not that I remember. Because that's a screenshot. But, yeah. I, I don't think so. So, I did, I did do some work. I did my work on these pieces. Okay. So, we got the turtle there. Set those there. Next, we have just a small costume piece here with little hearts, kind of a uh, artsy heart with the pink 
rhinestones. And there's the pin back here. Very, very cute. I don't think it's marked either. No, probably not. But it is very pretty. Silver tone with the pink. And it is approximately a little under two inches. So let's put $5 on that one. Isn't that sweet? We'll set it like that so it'll set up. This one I did find. Isn't that gorgeous? The see-through. Just beautiful. Kind of a peach, dusty, shiny, shiny, shiny. This does not have a maker's mark. But let me show you what I found. Let's see here. Yes, it's nice. It's a carnelian flower. This is a carnelian flower. Isn't that cool? So the orange in the carnelian flower gives the stone its name. So this is carnelian flower. One and a half by one and a half. Look at the price on that one. And I think this was on Ruby Lane, if I remember right. But anyway, I'm not selling it for $65. Okay, so I think we'll put 20 on this one. Just gorgeous. It is just in immaculate condition. Looks like no one ever wore it. Even the pin is straight. A lot of times the pins will be bent. But yes, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous pin. That brooch, pin brooch brooch pin. Okay, I found this one too. It is like a daisy, Shasta daisy maybe. Isn't that beautiful? It is like a enameled gold. I You don't see that very often. It's like a frosted gold tone. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, let me show you the picture I found. Yes, I was busy on Google Lens and Etsy and Poshmark and all kind of, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I, I wanted to show you, I never found the cactus, Edgar Baribi's cactus, but I did find this. Look at the price on that one. These are the blue with the little boot, the uh, horseshoe, and the star. So it's very similar. Um very cute. I would love to have those. So that is um, $34.95. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, where'd it go? Hold on here. Yes, and we were, we are, um, there it is. Vintage Statement Daisy Flower. Find great new and used options. Okay. Brand is called Estate. That's the brand of the actual piece. Not saying that mine is that way. And that's on eBay. You know, eBay can be high or low. You know, it is what it is. So we'll put, I'm going to put 12 on this one. Very pretty. And it is right at three inches. It could be pinned to the side, straight up and down, or even to this side. Just gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to pull these up. I was thinking about changing my background, but I don't know. I don't like the way it... I had a light, light blue. I have a purple. I didn't want, like the way it was showing up. Okay. Now, I have this locket that I showed a while back. Very, very cool. Very heavy. Not super heavy, but heavy made. Very not. I never could find any information on it. I think I did Google Lens. Let's see here. I do believe I did, but maybe I didn't. Hold on here. Let me do it here for you guys. So this is how you do it. You click on Google Lens. You line it up. 
Let's see. Line it up. Take the picture. And you can make it a little bit bigger. Then you search. And it brings up a bunch of different ones. And I'm not necessarily saying you will find the one you have. But you can find some to give you an idea, maybe. Because, of course, I can't tell what material it is or anything like that. And I don't see one that's like it. Um, this has pictures in it that are actually, I think, World War II. Very interesting. And I just left them in there. Let's see. This is probably the closest. Vintage Tone Small Pearls Locket. I, don't, I think that's the name. It's, called, it's on first dibs. Vintage Old Gold Tone Small Pearls. Oh, okay. This has little pearls. Well, that's $300 and it's not even... It's gold tone. <laughs> okay. Um... I don't know. We're going to put brooch. Sometimes you have to go in and be a little more specific. Like brooch and search. See what comes up. Now, if you have something come up that is actually... Say that's 12 karat gold gilt. I have no idea. I The only thing I have is 18 karat. And I put it up, and I don't use it very often, but I used it on, you know, you scratched, and it didn't show 18, but it could be 10 karat gold plated, 12 karat. Um, I don't see anything coming up. So I think what we'll do is just, on this piece here, because it is vintage, and I'm going to uh, show you inside the locket, it's very easy to open. And that's what's inside. And I kept it. There is no markings under the pictures. There's the little boy. He's dressed like my brother would have been dressed for church with the hat and the coat. Um, and there's dad or grandpa. And he is in his military uniform. And that looks like World War II. He looks like he has the, I don't know, he looks like a lieutenant or something. It's pretty fancy. Okay, so I'm going to put $12 on this. Just for the vintageness, and it's very cool. The fact that it has pictures in it still, it's just very cool. Okay, this guy here, I did find this one. Now, this is what's called, this cabochon is called slag glass. I'm not real sure, but this is one of the oldest brooches I think I've ever had. Look at this. This is brass. It probably was gilded with something at one time, like a gold wash, maybe. Beautiful. Let me show you the picture I have of one. I can't remember if it was. I don't think it's the eBay. You guys, I very seldom price things e with eBay pricing. I just don't. I don't know. I just don't. I think it's too iffy. I think anybody could do about anything, any price, as long as someone will buy it, okay? So, where'd it go? No, I could have sworn I had the picture. Well, I've got one that's very close. I know, it, it had sold. This one had sold, so it wouldn't give me any information on it, and I think it was through... Oh, what's it called? Um, now, this is eBay. I think it was Poshmark had one. It's called, This says Victorian Antique Slag Art Glass Brass Pin. And that is just exactly what this is. It's very similar to this. It's a bit more or ornate, as you can see. Very cool. Look at the price on that one. And this is eBay. Okay. So I think what I do for this. Very interesting. I think this was the brooch that was put on the um, 
right below the neck of the blouse, I think. Or could have connected a um, cape or something like that. But I think I'm going to put 20 on this one. It's very pretty. Is that weather again? Oh, no. Okay. Beautiful. This, like I said, I think this might be the oldest brooch I've ever had. So, very pretty. Put that there. This, this one and this one are like neck and neck as far as um, vintage or antique or, you know. Okay, next I have, <laughs> he's so cute. It's a swordfish. And there seems to be... I know that's not a mark, that's too tiny. And sometimes I'll take my fingernail and rub it because sometimes like with Crimmins and Kramer and some of the others, their name will be in, what's it called, etched into this part. And when you see this little bar here, it's usually an older piece. Um, I can feel that this is an older piece, but this is like a frosted gold tone, but this is just cool. And this must be a female because she has eyelashes. Isn't that cool? Little red crystal eye. And I'm going to put, let's put 10 on her. Very, very pretty. She's approximately 2 inches. So we'll put 10 on her. I want to make sure I stay inside the lines. <laughs> We've got a beauty. Isn't that pretty? So I checked out the stones. They are stones. I actually, it went almost to nephrite. It did not go to jadeite. Um, this could be adventuring. I mean, um, not adventuring. What am I thinking? This could be iolite. I don't think it's tourmaline. But it's not quartz. It went up higher than that. And it's cold. And you can actually see... Whoops, come back here. The, um... Yeah. So, like I said, it could be nephrite. Um, but it's very, very sweet. So, we have a beautiful pin bag. This is like brand new, but I know it's older. Probably from the 70s. And no, there is no marking on this one. But I loved it enough to put it in my um, special jewelry box. So we'll put 10 on this one. And you guys remember, I'm trying to price them to sell. And... Um, you have to remember that vintage brooches are absolutely astronomically overpriced. They're very hard to come by without spending some money. Beautiful. These circles were so popular back when my mother, when I was little, like when my mother was in her late 30s, early 40s, which would have been the 60s. But this is a blue and a green, and it is really nice. Isn't that pretty? I'll show you the back. It's in excellent condition. I don't see a maker mark on this one. But see how it's got this piece here? That's how you can tell it's a bit older. A lot of times you'll have a pin that sticks out a little bit. This one doesn't so much. But with this little framing here, you can just kind of tell. Okay. This beauty, the red, I mean the red, the blue and the green. I'm used to red and blue for the high school. Is right at one inch. About an inch and a quarter, really, all the way. Because it's a double, it's a double circle like that. So I'll put eight on this one. Okay. Next, so what should we do next? I just love this brooch. I actually found it um, when I first 
purchased it. I thought maybe it was sterling, but it's not. I think sterling plated. Let me get the um, pin shut so I don't prick myself. Let's see. It is gorgeous. It's very pretty. It's like a filigree. It has a blue AB. And you can find this, but it just it doesn't have a maker. It's got the blue AB stones, crystals. Um, it has faux marcasite, the little dots there. And like I said, it's a see-through. Isn't that beautiful? And it is approximately, it's a beauty. It is about an inch and a half circle. And I'm going to put 10 on this one. That gorgeous. Love it, love it. Okay, next, I have some littles from my, all my little um, Canadian friends that I dearly love. There's that. And we have some bars, which also seem to have been popular at one time. Bar brooches. Very dainty. Look at that. Here's that one. This one's interesting. I've had this for a long time. That um, diamond etched gold tone. I don't think any of these are marked. And this little one with the shell. I thought it was so sweet. Another little bar. I don't see a mark on this. I'm going to check them. I don't think I've ever looked at the... Nope, I don't see a mark on that. Okay, so there's that one. Here I am checking the time already. It's probably going to be an hour, close to an hour. No, I don't see a mark on that one. This is beautiful. Maple leaves. With the silver and the gold. Yeah, that's very sweet. And it's small. And see, it's got that Y right there. Um, nope, no maker mark. Okay, beautiful though. There's that one. And then the other bar. The bars are going to run four... So for this one is four dollars. Then we have this one for four. Is that weed? I don't know what that is. Well, anyway, that one's four. So it just kind of it's a bar pin. It's not it's not for a tie that I know of. Then there's this little baby. And that one's four also. And the maple leaves, I'm going to put five on this. Very sweet. About an inch, a little over an inch. Very sweet. And the stick pin with the beautiful little uh, rhinestone. Um, what is that? A geranium? Geranium leaf, I think. Or a lily, or a lily. I don't know what that is. That's pretty. Look, you can see the veins in the little plant, the little leaf, darling. It's got a nice um, cap on it. Pin cap. Very sweet. So we'll put four on that one. And like I said, you know, just remember, when I do my pricing, I'm pricing for the piece how well it's been kept over the years and the fact that it is vintage, okay? Let's put that over there. Kind of shove these back a little bit out of the way. So we've got some more. I have an Avon. Oh, sorry. Um, from the 90s. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, you can see that. Isn't 
There we go. Yes, these are very collectible. So I think I'll put four on this one. It's beautiful. It's a brand new look to it. Put it right like that. Okay, let me do another brooch. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I think this is like a plum. Let me get some light behind it because, yes, it's beautiful. Let's set it there. Let's get a little more clarity. There we go. Isn't that pretty? The green is gorgeous. It's all glass. And then it's a very dark metallic. Even the back. Isn't that pretty? And this is a marked piece. This is this is a Warner. It's a very deep purplish red with the green. It's just gorgeous. Look at the shine. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. This Warner will be 12. It is right at an inch and three quarters. Yeah, I'll put that under the light. There we go. Pretty. Very pretty. Okay, we have... I did look this little brooch up, and I did find it. And I don't remember what I put on it. I just don't. But it's so sweet. It's the birdie. Kind of a gold tone, silver tone, little faux marcasite, the little dots. Isn't he sweet? I don't believe he's sterling. I just don't. I think if he was, yeah, he moves. I can move him. Yeah, he's probably sterling plate, but he's very pretty. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, so let's put let's put seven on him. He's very cute. Okay, so we got the bird. I have one that really is old. This is another one of the older ones that I have. The C clasp it sticks way out. And I am not Real sure if this is not sterling. I'll look, let you see it up close. Come back here. Let me see if it is attracted to the magnet. Come here, magnet. Yep, it probably is. But I'm going to sell it as a vintage piece, not a sterling piece. I think we will put... Let's put seven on that one also. It is small, but look at that. You can just tell. Show you the back. Isn't that cool? Very, very nice. And the C-clasp is right here. Right there. Okay. So that one is seven. I also have a couple very nice ones. Now I looked this one up and I do believe it's a JJ. This is the one with the musical. You've got a cherub. You've got a heart. You've got a lyre. Um, you've got a, what's that? You've got a saxophone. What is that? That's a bow and arrow. Sorry, I didn't know what that was. I thought it was like a violin or something. Then you have the cherub up. Cherub up. This is either JJ or Kirk's Folly. I'm not positive. I wish it was marked so I wouldn't have to guess. Let's see. Let me get it shut. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I don't see any markings. Has a very beautiful back. Kind of a 1928 type design. 
Yeah, that's why I get so frustrated when some of these pieces are not marked. They should be. Then I see all the filigree and you keep thinking maybe that's it. But yes, this is could be Kirk's Folly and this also could be JJ. But you know what? JJ has a tendency to really mark their pieces well. So, I don't even see a marking on the heart. The heart is actually a locket. Sorry, I'm so far away from you guys. But I don't think it opens. Yeah, it looks like a locket. But, mm -mm, I don't think so. So we got the cherub. We've got the locket. We've got the lyre. We've got the arrow. And we've got the saxophone. Okay. So I think on this one, we'll put $8. Okay, the next couple are going to be the big guns. <laughs> okay. I have an Eisenberg pair that I've had for The actual stones on this are so amazing. The rhinestones, they are absolutely amazing. Let's see if I can get you guys to see the mark. Let's see, I gotta find it first. There it is. Yep. Eisenberg Ice with the C. Look at the holes. Look at all the light that comes in. This thing is gorgeous. No missing stones. It just glitters. Eisenberg Ice was the next best thing to diamonds. Probably better than diamonds back in the 50s and 60s because it was after the war. Like Mom said, people were saving up for homes and things like that. I think the economy was booming. People had good in interest rates. Um, gas prices were not a problem back then. Um, that's why they had those great big huge cars and nobody really cared. <laughs> okay, I'll show you what I found for my Eisenberg. Maybe, if I can get back to my pictures. Come on. Let's go back. Okay, here we go. Well, sorry guys. I thought I had this like all settled. I'm a coming. Okay, here we go. Here's one right there. And this is on, oh, I can't tell. It doesn't really say. It's probably Poshmark is what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm going to put 25 on the Eisenberg. You can get them. Uh, I haven't seen one like this for under $35 to $40. So I'm going to put 25 on it. Beautiful. It is actually one and a half inches. And when you see it, you'll be like, oh my. So here's that. Thank you guys. I think I'm over a little bit too far. There we go. Okay, so I also have, and I'll have to look it up here. It is one of my favorites. It's a vintage. Mm-hmm. These are gold plated. You have the little green eyes. Crystals. He's in immaculate condition. 
Look at the back. It is not even, there's no mark on him, but as you see, they are hard to get for under about 75 bucks. <laughs> King's throne stuff. And there's his eyes. There's his tail. And he's very shiny. He's over. Very, very shiny. This is like a shoulder climber. I've got another climber I'm going to show you guys here in just a second. But yeah, he's in immaculate condition. And I'm going to put 40 on him. And that's about half of what they really go for. Isn't that gorgeous? All the way to the tip of his tail. Okay, the next one I have is also vintage. And it is a true shoulder climber. I've had him for a long time. He has green eyes. I gotta get you to see him. Let's put him down. He is completely articulated. Isn't he gorgeous? Turn him over. You can see how articulated he is. So what it is, his pin is right there. Get your paw out of the way, dude. Come on. There's his pin. So he's going to go just like this. He's like hugging my hand. There's his little tail. Perfect condition. So he would go just like this over your shoulder. And he would hang in the front. Just like that. Look, his little head moves. And that's the back of him. Would hang over your shoulder. Very interesting. Um, I don't think we have things like that right now. But we... You used to see, like, Janet Jackson and them, they would wear the, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're on the shoulders, and they're very fancy, and they have, you know, crystals hanging off. This is very similar to that type of style that kind of morphed into that style back in the, you know, disco days and things. So, um, yes, I do have the picture for you to see. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, oh, I don't, okay, here we go. So here's the one picture. There's him there. And there he is. And he's in no better shape than mine. And I think the Etsy one, there was one for 120 it says rare 80s silver tiger, um, shoulder brooch, 80s articulated tiger. Um, it says vintage 80s. I I think that's probably right. Um, I thought I had another picture of him, but just those two. And I'm going to put 45 on him. I mean, if somebody has an Etsy shop or a <laughs> eBay even, they could double their money if not triple it almost. So we're going to put 40 on him. And he is a length of... I mean, he could even hang down your jacket if you really want it. He could hang on your jacket just like this. Isn't that cool? He is approximately... Eight inches. Just too cute. Okay. I'm going to set him there. Yeah, it was kind of a shock. You know, I got all my stuff back. Um, when I came back from Florida. Now, I have a watch here. And it hangs from a chain. I don't know where the chain went. Um... It's upside down because you're supposed to pull it up to look at your, at the time. You pull it up like this. And I hope you can hear this. It's a winder. Let's see. I don't know if you can hear that or not. There's actually running.
Come on, focus. And it is, what is that? Is that, let me look. This is a Lucerno Antimagnetic and it's Swiss. But I just thought it was just so cool. And it's a 12 hour winder, I think, if I remember right. It's got the beautiful etching. It has a little bit of fading to it, but not much. So it doesn't need a battery. Not at all. So I think I'll put 16 on this. And it's older. <laughs> it's what? 60s? Probably Lucerno. Okay. Whoops. It's a very, very hefty, sturdy watch. As you can see as I dropped it. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on. Stop moving. Oh, we're out too far. Hold on, guys. Okay. Come on. Still going. Okay, and okay, the rest that I have are earrings. Um, let me see, we're at 46. Oh, I do have a couple more brooches. Oh, <laughs> just forgot. I have puppies, puppy dogs. Okay, they move back the tigers and the puppies so they don't get into it. I don't want them fighting. There's this. Yes, if you guys see anything here that you like and you'd like to purchase, but you've never purchased from me before, all you have to do is email me at moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com. And what I would need would be your email address, of course, which will come with the email, your full name, your um, PayPal email, and your shipping address. And as soon as I get those, you will be free to purchase, okay? Now, to purchase, you would email me, and you would put everything that you want to purchase with the timestamp and maybe even a brief description in the email, and it's a, always a first-come, first-served basis, okay? There will be a sold list in the comments, and always check the sold list before you call. I mean, before you contact me. That way you'll know if your item is still available. This is a charm. It is a poodle. It's a little lady holding the uh, leash. Little hand here. Um, it's got little red crystal eyes. As you can see. And I thought this was Monet. But I don't see a mark. I do not see a mark, but I have the Monet. Um, I have another charm. It was New York City the skyline. That was Monet. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so this charm can go on um, a sterling necklace, on a charm bracelet that you already have. It just hooks on. So this is just darling. So I do believe it's a poodle, and it is three-dimensional. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to put 14 on this one. It's just too uh, very unusual. Okay. Okay, next we have another poodle. A standard poodle with the old vintage cut that they used to use. Um, you don't see that cut very much anymore. This is in excellent shape. It does have the little pin that sticks out a little bit. So I'm thinking 60s maybe. It has a beautiful gold tone and um, little pom-pom. So let's put 10 on this one. Okay. We have a Dalmatian for the fireman. Let me put the pin back in. Sorry, guys. If I can. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, so we have the Dalmatian with the little dots. Just as sweet as it can be. No maker mark. Just darling. And it is approximately an inch and three quarters long and two inches high at the highest part of the head. And let's put... Um, let's put eight on him. Just darling. Now we have a Sheltie or a... Uh, yeah, I think it's a Sheltie. It's the shepherd dog. That's the back. Does not have a mark. I think this is just too sweet. And this is an older pin. Brooch back. Isn't that sweet? So this is vintage. And I'll put, for this little Sheltie, let's put six. And it is about close to two inches. Very sweet. Then I have this beauty here. This is a, what, a Springer Spaniel? Um, I don't know. No. This is probably one of the hunting dogs because look at his tail. I was thinking he had a big, long tail, but he doesn't. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So you can do about anything you want to with him. You can put a ring or a bail there. Um, this says, hand-painted by Mary DiMaggio, 1988. Wow. Wow. Just beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So I'm going to put 12 on that. It's, a hunting, it's like a hunting dog. A retriever. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I do believe I have gone through... Oh, except for this one. I'll show you one of my mother's favorite pins. Brooches. Isn't that gorgeous? This has gold on it that looks like she bought it yesterday. And I know she had this in the early 60s. I was a little bitty girl. Isn't it beautiful? And there is a spot for a mark, but there is no mark. I can't remember where it was. My mother did have a lot of crimmets, Monet's. Yeah, this one goes back in my jewelry box. But I just wanted to show it to you how beautiful it has been. What is that? Let's see. 40, 50, 60... 60-year-old brooch. Just gorgeous. Let's set that right there. Isn't that just unbelievable. So, um, I'm going to set that there. And I do have this darling little dragonfly. I don't know if it's vintage. I'm not real sure. I know it's awfully pretty. It's got a nice pin back. Let's see. How is it open? Oh, it just comes out. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know if you can see that. It's so dark. It just comes, it's like a C clasp. And it <laughs> said boing. So we have this. Get on back in there. There. Oh, that's cool. It went back real easily. Look at the details on this dragonfly. But anyway, it is purple. Deep, dark purple glass or resin. Or I don't know what it's made out of. But look at these little... Aren't those gorgeous? So I'm going to put five on him. He's just cute as a button. And it is approximately an inch and a half. And it's about two and a quarter inches long. And width, width. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this. I have quite a bit more. I really do. So, let me know how you guys um, like this type of jewelry. I do pretty well vintage-wise. Um, this is what I love. I love. Um, I love the sterling vintage, but I love vintage. Very nice vintage pieces. So, I'm going to get off of here. 
I have a full week ahead of me for school. Um, in four weeks, school will be over with. Can you believe it? And then comes my time of the year, summer. So tomorrow we will do some more earrings, some more um, necklaces, and some, I do believe, let me look. Oh, boy, I, sorry, 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 sorry. About knocked it off, you know. That's why I hate to even move. I do have some more necklaces and some bracelets and a few earrings, so it won't be a super long video tomorrow. Okay. All right. You guys have a wonderful week. Stay well and stay blessed, and we'll talk to you all soon. All right, guys.